Hey guys, uh, we're gonna do a short video today about replacing or upgrading the hard drive in a Lenovo uh, laptop. This is the laptop, it's an IdeaPad 330S-15ARR. So the customer brought in a, a computer which has a busted hard drive. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you how to replace it. It's uh, fairly simple to do it. Uh, and you'll have a uh, couple options uh, when it comes to the upgrading of the drive. So let me uh, let me show you the computer and how to open it up. So excuse the mess on my desk, but again, I'm in the middle of the work day, so a lot of tools on my bench. So you're gonna uh, there are a couple of screws on the sides. Let me just the camera in a different angle okay so these screws were already removed I already removed them so just unscrew them and you're gonna lift the top case just like that which will give you access to the inside of the computer now as you see this particular laptop has two hard drive slots one is not populated is right here so in here you can put a sata type of uh, hard drive um you can uh it comes by default with an empty slot and you can use a regular hard drive this is a sata uh, type of drive uh, you can just put it here and slide it in uh, you can use it as a primary drive or as a secondary drive just for storage um, the computer came originally with a 256 gigabytes hard drive solid state now when you look at it you will say where is the drive well right here you're gonna you have to remove this uh, uh, heat shield so you have uh, you have couple of screws actually that's the wrong screw so we have one screw right here okay and have another screw right here all the screws are Phillips, so you only need one screwdriver for this particular job. And one screw here. So with these three screws removed, I'm going to go ahead and lift this one. This shield. Okay. So this is the inside of the computer. This is your RAM. If you want to upgrade the RAM, uh, it's very easily. You just slide it out and put a larger one uh, this particular computer came uh, with a four gigabytes of RAM uh, separately uh, it has a RAM which is built in uh, you can go for uh, this is a PC4 so you can go as high as 32 gigabytes here if you want to uh, but that's not what we're gonna do today we're gonna change this is the hard drive so as you see this hard drive it's a small form factor hard drive uh, so you can replace it with a similar one or you can put one of these guys you see which is a full-size uh, PCI Express uh, 2280 I believe so it's called so yep you can do that now you're gonna remove this screw in order to be able to access that drive okay and we are going to lift it up okay it might be a little bit hard because we have the thermal uh, pad right under there so the drive itself it's kind of stuck you're just gonna lift it up and pull it out then you have the thermal pad we're gonna put it back okay now these type of drives are a little bit harder to find uh, most of them are going to be this size of a drive okay but if you have one of these see you just slide it right in here and then pop it in there put the screw back on but as i said we will use regular size drive so we're gonna find one and we're going to put it in okay so there we go we're gonna use one of these guys okay this one will go right in there and now here we are not going to be using this little adapter 
because the drive is full size. So we're gonna put this screw back on. And that's it, we have drive replaced. Okay, and as I said, if you want to replace this drive, you'll have to remove these two screws and you can uh, put uh, 256, 500, 1 terabyte, anything up to 4 terabytes when it comes to uh, regular hard, uh, to SSD drives or up to 2 terabytes when it comes to, um, uh, to regular rotational hard drives. So with that uh, drive replaced, we're gonna put back the heat shield. Uh, pay attention to where these uh, clips are. So it's going to be a clip there, clip there, clips around here. So you will pretty much put this shield in the right track. Okay. There, there, there. Okay. I'm going to push it down. Put the three screws back in. While you're in uh, in the computer, like as you see in the case of this particular computer, the fan looks pretty pretty dusty. So make sure you clean it up. Okay, you can use a brush or something similar to loosen the dust by the blades, and then you can just take a um, canned uh, uh, air spray and just blow it, uh, blow the fan, so all the dust will go out. I have a little compressor which I'm gonna use. Uh, the computer will go slightly out of the uh, view. And that's it. The fan is clean. Uh, now we can reassemble it and proceed to the Windows installation. I'm gonna put back the back case, put back the screws, and all you have to do now is uh, boot up the computer from a Windows installation disk or a Windows uh, installation USB. If you do not have one, you can uh, head to um, to the Microsoft website and download an image onto a blank 8 gigabytes or larger uh, USB drive. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, the license of the Windows because being uh, Windows 10, you will have the license key embedded into the UEFI, so the computer will activate the newly installed copy of the Windows automatically when it connects to the internet. Okay, now here we're missing a screw, uh, we're gonna take care of it a little bit later on. And that's about it, now you're ready to install a new copy of the Windows and Pretty much you're gonna have your computer up and running again um, if you do this uh, upgrade I would I would recommend you to go for a slightly larger drive than it originally came with your computer as I said it came with a 256 gigabytes that's a little bit too low I would go for a one terabyte you can find that probably for less than a hundred dollars um, so that will give you will have a little bit more speed uh, because they have a different controller chip and um, but most importantly will give you more storage space okay uh, so yeah that uh, this will conclude today's video it was a very short and uh, very simple procedure uh, this time for a change so yeah, if this video helped you in any way uh, please uh, like subscribe uh, leave a comment uh, unfortunately, I don't have the time to answer uh, to answer the comments, uh, but most likely you'll find uh, help from people which are actually uh, subscribed already to my channel, and they will be able to help you. With that said, take care. Until next time, see you.